quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you all. I am Burner. Here on my first day of recording with some new equipment. I actually picked up a new mic and a second monitor yesterday to make recording easier. So now there'll be less errors that have been known to happen throughout previous videos of ours. Also, this is the beginning of our reaction free time considering our main channel is still down until late August. This will most likely be going up on the second channel considering I don't want to risk anything. <laughs> But enough about that, today I'll be starting up a uh, let's play of some of my favorite point and click adventure games, the Sam and Max series. I'm starting with Sam and Max 101 Culture Shock because when I bought the collection, I didn't know it didn't include the original 2D games such as, uh, what's it, Sam and, Rex, Sam and Max Hit the Road. But I actually have Sam and Max 101 through 305. I'll only be playing Sam and, Max 10, Sam and Max 101 through 205 considering I hate the Devil's Play... It's Devil's Play Paint or Devil's Play Box or whatever it is. I hate those uh, Wii games that involve the items you have to use, but... Enough of that, it's time for Sam and Max. Let's see what random stuff they have around our office. Is that a noose? Where's the rest of the noose collection, Max? It's a surprise! I don't see it on the ceiling fan, so I do not want to know what the surprise is. <laughs> Cooler. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? I imagine suckish. Oh, two tiny bucks. Oh, that's my uh, inventory. Or, inventory, or whatever you want to call it. It's a box. Uh, sorry, just to make sure I can see everything. I would never play this game on full screen, but I always mess with the recording program, which is another reason I got the second monitor. But I'll explain all that crap later. Oh, the report. One of these days, we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. I'll say this now, the reason I chose the point-and-click adventure game, especially one such as so quirky as a Simon Max game, is because I'm horrible at commentating, so this will do have to work for me. Oh, look, that's machine. Did it, even though the phone's missing, did you get the message? Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. I wonder why. What the heck is this? Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. How did she through a straight? No, I don't get that announced from memory. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quieter times. I hate to see what this time is kind of as wastebasket. No dice. No dice. No. Okay, so there are no dice, and if I lose an ace of hearts on that trash can, is that going to be any use? No? no? All right, I guess I'm just spouting nonsense. Lush vegetation. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. And Max is the reason why the plant orders will one day arise. And what the heck was he doing? Are you use the force? Oh yes, Max can play for the uh, plant overlord show up. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Oh, so Max is around this game. Crazy and hates puns. Yeah, it's Max in this game. I feel like I screwed it up somehow, but... White Rabbit Max equals Ginger Red Co-Host. Yeah, makes sense. Huh, graffiti. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. It's so far better than anything I see on Tumblr. Haha, <laughs> I, I kid. I don't go on Tumblr. Uh, yeah, back to office. Okay, uh... Hey, what's on TV? Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. 
Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. <laughs> oh, as a side note, I actually did a couple of these videos prior, um, before I got this new equipment, which makes everything better. I... No, I'll get into that later once I actually get out of the office. Oh, a bro kill. Is that a kid? No, oh, is that... I love doing that. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Eh, don't worry about calendar. And hopefully I'm coming through clearly. I'm trying to... Uh, I'm going to try to pronounce it clearly like actual YouTubers do, instead of my normal fast-paced rambling. Whee! <laughs> there be a throw max button. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Smart dog. Smart dog. Oh, okay. oh case files from... March 3rd, 2004. Ah, uh, yes. I That's remember that case. Ago. 12 years ago, to be so. exact. Oh god, I'm playing such a game. Okay. But I care, it still holds up. Uh, what else is there? Oh, VCR. How many people actually know what that is? I guess a good deal of our viewers. I bought that at VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. It still smells like asparagus, though. Yeah, I see people buy weird things at the grocery store. Oh, look at Max's little desk. No comment. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I'll kept it. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Yeah, that light is still on. <laughs> when I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Well, it's the kind of thing. We just looked at them. Oh, bowling ball. The good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. I'm sure her bowling ball has a, a thrilling backstory to it, which I don't care about at the moment. Oh, look, rattle. Oh, tiny hoodlums! Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! There's a dirty joke in there somewhere, but I'm not gonna make it. Uh, the file cabinet, ant farm, uh, ant thumbtack, Jesse James' hand. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed! No comment on that either. I'm, I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot during this let's play. Oops, I actually hit the store. Hey Max, what do you got to say about this while I ignore this obviously hey, Max. closet? Obvious when closet. is it, Sam? Let's see. Uh, where's that cheese? Could it be that closet? Nah. You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. But you don't wear pants. No comment. Where's the cheese? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. Yeah, I'm sure that one place I haven't checked. That is a very conspicuous closet. I wonder who called. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. I'm pretty sure the governor wouldn't mind if one rep seceded from the Union. But since this rabbit is Max, I'm pretty sure he would mind. Why greatly, in fact. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised the army's kicking, not kicking down their door now. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah! Hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Looks like about three states in the US that don't even do daylight savings. I'm sure it worked fine. I miss our phone. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. Uh, Mitt Samson can use some work. The world always needs more banjo. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Rule 34 time? No, not yet. We still have much more this game left to go. I'm feeling philosophical. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. But I think you're a bug, you'd have more legs. I've got a headache. Some days I, I can really feel do. the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Apparently he hasn't. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Okay, now what's up this closet? Whee! What's up from that? Aha! Oh, there it is. Jeez. But it's not Swiss. Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. 
Now, what's one way we turn normal cheese into Swiss cheese? When don't go the American way. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! I yeah, think that. I think not. I agree with dogs. Ah, now we got a pile of cheese with bullet holes in it. Voila. Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Yep. Don't say voila. Voila, voila, voila. I'll say all I want, you damn rabbit. Alright, let's get Tiny Hillum's cheese. <laughs> tiny Hillum's, I love that term. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your love. my ass. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. You said you're not stool pigeon. All right, let's be reasonable. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. You got that part right. Let's make a deal. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happens, pig. Well, that was the half easy part. Let's go to the psychopathic rabbit. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny trash-eating neck. You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face. Your partner's giving me a headache. Ooh, a headache, eh? Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German-crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. I think Can I does. go now? Uh, working glass? I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry, amateurs. I'm not gonna lie, I love Max's threats. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. <laughs> I you really love his threats. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. Hey, Dogface, got any comment on this? Uh, help me help you. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. I think that's why I stopped using it about a decade ago. Alright, that did work. Torture... Torture your ears? Is that Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Toot Toot ain't Jimmy afraid of no me. cats. Can I go now? Nope. I'll tear you apart. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. I don't yeah, think I'll Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. Bacon is more so known to sizzle, not shake, Mr. Toot Toot. All right, got a headache, buddy? You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? No comment. This just has to be done. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. All right, all right! Another have mercy! Lost that many people. I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey. Like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! <laughs> Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. I would take this, I could unsee it. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. What's first? We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Okay, and then let's go look at some more stuff. Oh, wait, I think I actually checked out everything in the office already. Uh, let's just do a homework quick sweep. Actually, I think I talked to Max more. Hey, Max. Next up, quarter store. We should probably get down to the corner store one of these days, like the commissioner said. What are we waiting for? A sale? Sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly, little buddy. 
Maybe we should get some oil instead. It feels good to be back in the old saddle, doesn't it? You've been watching too many John Ford movies again. Let's go beat up some thugs. Mm-hmm. Hey, feeling chill. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. First, look close to close the doors so no one else finds this with cheese. Again, we have no idea how many times we put them before or how to get in that hole. All right, let's go. At the very slow pace of point-and-click adventure game. Parts can be heard from miles away. Wait, there. Be. Uh... Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide eyed circus freak like you. Hey, I know you! Hey, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers, yeah! Hi, peepers! We loved your show. I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Civil Pandemic! Life Bullshit. Psychotherapist! Huh? Uh, are you sure you're Civil? Are you sure your name is Civil, not peepers? Absolutely! Civil Pandemic! Licensed Psychotherapist! That's me! He's trying Civil to pull a fast one, Sam! That's Where's your gun? For some reason. Violence is not the answer! Yes, it is. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Yes, and there's also peepers. Uh, is this the blue girl, Sam? Sybil's normally a girl's oh, name, Oh god, not these PC times. Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Good point. Do you have any, you have any ID? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID? Sybil. My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You sure look a lot like peepers. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. Okay, psychoanalyze me. How Wait, about what? a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. I feel like this, this little white rabbit followed me. Oh, hi, Max. Uh... I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! I am regretting everything else so far. Who's Brady Culture? Who's this Lady Culture person? Brady! Brady Culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's I all! Know, so it's name it's not Sean peepers. Penn? Not anymore! I'm so disillusioned. What's Ibo? What's Hybro exactly? Hybro? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Oh, thanks. Mainly because I don't know if actually owns a VCR anymore. Well, there's my boss, but that's a different story. Uh, you got a copy of these videos? Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's! How the hell are you out? Enough said. Enough said. Uh, well, that's all I got. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Oh wait, there are sure. more psychoanalyzing psycho problems. I have any questions. But first... In the world's current events, this is probably in horrible, horrible taste, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Welcome Just to 2016. Comes naturally, I guess. I can see you! Yes, but for some reason I won't pull the trigger. Please stop doing that! I thought actually bust the cap. Ah, uh, fine. I believe there's some more options to talk about. Hey, peepers. Sybil! Right. Uh you sure are fast. 
You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. I'll Google that. This part. Uh, I think the motorcycle. Uh, Something cycle, else has been on my mind. Questions. Tell me what's bothering you. Uh, violent tendencies. Well, I did try shooting twice. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal. But you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Sounds really like a that. piece of work. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, let's do the other side. Oh, Something like, else has uh, been on my mind. Options. Tell me what's bothering you. You. <laughs> it's not me. First hallucinations. I think I'm hallucinating because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd. Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's eyeball video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. Nope. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. All right, let's take the psycho... psycho Something else has been on my onion. mind. Tell me yeah, what's so bothering stuttering, you. Uh, mess up my words. Or as Jimmy would say, I'm flubbing a lot. It's not me, it's Max. Hey! He thinks he's a rabbit. I am a rabbit! See? Yes, well, I would recommend Brady Culture's Ibo video for this situation. Good eye sure health shoot helps combat delusions. I'm a rabbit! Is that your solution to everything? It's not mine, it's Brady Culture's! But it may very well be the solution to everything, yes. Okay, that's a few people. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Uh, let's take a look around this place. Tattoo designs. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Eh, no comment. Diplomas? Impressive credentials. Thank you! Big positive. Nice sign. Uh, what's over here? Darker clock. It's getting late. Hey, Sam. If it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Uh, let's see what else is there around here. Couch? Couch I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. That's your chair? That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? I'm not going to dig any further into that. Oh, Newton's Cradle. Or Newton's balls. Can I play with that? Ah, oh, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better. Oh, we're talking about those eyes. Tiki. I can't see. Ah, the tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Eh, yeah, I think it's still on the internet. Hello, is anybody there? Oh, probably Charlie's up there. Uh, box. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Okay, cactus. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same can be said for a lot of our friends. Fair enough. And a relaxed sign that's no way relaxing. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. Exactly. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. I've yet to see the sign, but I agree. Okay, let's investigate this banging closet. Let's investigate. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. So you're in about five minutes? Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! So does that mean we can shoot him? No way hell I'm going with that option. Did you say lunatic? Actually, we'll go with this option. I think she was referring to Max. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. <laughs> Did you say lunatic? I thought psychotherapists didn't oh, use words like lunatic. Again. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? 
Straight up, what's the charge? Sorry, what's kidnapping. the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. <laughs> Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Yeah, first question, how can you tell? How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. He's hypnotized? Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. All right, what can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock him unconscious! Now you're talking! That's I can demonstrate easy. on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! What's all I know? We have. Oh, boxing glove, boxing glove, put a gun again. Hey, Peepers, watch it. I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is! Oh, you hey, attacked a that. licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Oh, wait, how can we stop him? And that least 10 minutes where this first episode will end, because my alarm just went off. I'm going to try to keep these videos under a certain time limit for once. So, until I come back with the next episode, bye-bye.